Hello everyone, this is Aquila here and I'm here to give you a tutorial with ConvertKit. You know I love ConvertKit and I want you to love it too. So here's one of the very first things you should be you should do when you actually begin using ConvertKit. So ConvertKit only works if there's emails in there and every email that you acquire is called a subscriber. So if you look at the tab on the right tab this big red tab, it says add subscribers. And that's where you would add subscribers to your email list. But let's say you actually have an email list. Maybe you had it in MailChimp. Maybe you had an Excel sheet from the past of all of your email subscribers and you wanna basically import them into ConvertKit. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But before that, I'm gonna show you how to actually just add one subscriber. So let's say you want to manually add a subscriber. You click the button add subscriber and then you're going to see a screen that says import subscribers and it has three options. Add a single subscriber, import a CSV and import from another provider. Let's click add a single subscriber. So let's say you just want to add one person manually. So this is not something you would do if you have 100 emails or 500 emails. I'll show you the easier way. But if you just want to add one email, this is how you do it. So you click add subscriber. You, now you're in this screen. You're going to put the first name, let's say Mark, and the email is mark at gmail.com. This is just a test, okay? Then you, you would select include these subscribers and you want to add them to a tag. And let's put it right here um temporarily okay we're going to add it to this tag for whatever reason we want to give this person 50 percent off we're going to click that tag if it was another tag they're all going to show up there if you wanted to add this person to another tag it's all going to show up under tags let's say you wanted to add them um to a form you see me press form and it drops down and tells you what form you can add it to or you wanted to add them to a sequence when, it, when you click sequence on the drop down, it tells you what sequence, but in this case, we're just trying to add them to a tag. So we selected the 50% off interested landing page tag, and that's only specific to this example. And then when you press save, there you go. Now that one person is added to your email list, you can see on the dashboard, it says total subscribers one, you see the person's email and their name, Mark, mark at gmail it tells you the subscription date september 17th 2020 and then it also shows on the right hand side under tags 50 percent off interested landing tag one person so this is only if you're manually adding one or two emails if you're adding hundreds of emails you would definitely not do this and i use this in cases like say somebody sends me their email on Twitter, or somebody emails, DMs me their email, or somebody sends me their email on Facebook, and I just wanna add one or two people, I can do it manually. And it's very easy on ConvertKit, it's not complicated at all. And once you get familiar with ConvertKit, it's gonna become routine. For example is you having an email list of hundreds of emails, thousands of emails, you're not going to manually want to add them one by one. It's going to take too much time. And ConvertKit has made it easy for us to manually um, to add these without having to do it manually. It's going to take less time. So what you would do is click add subscribers again. But remember the first time it was, we were adding a single subscriber, but now we want to import a CVS. So if you don't know what a CVS file is, you basically want to take any emails that you have, put it into an Excel, and then convert that to a CVS file. And once you have that CVS file, you can then literally drag and drop it into ConvertKit and add whatever subscribers you have on there. So it's very easy. It's very simple. And I'm going to show you that in the next step. Let's say you have all of your emails in an Excel sheet. And what we want to actually convert it to is a CVS so that we can then drag and drop it into ConvertKit. So I just did a test here. I did my first name and my email. And now I'm going to, I want to convert it to a CVS file. I go to file and then I select save as. 
and I put the title at the top, ConvertKit tutorial file, and now it's going to be saved to my desktop. And then I want to select the file format, not to be Excel or to be a web page, but to be a CVS. And then I press save. saved file in CVS format, and now I can drag and drop it into ConvertKit. So to get to this screen, let me remind you how we did that. We pressed the big red button, add subscribers, and then we click the middle button, import a CSV. We're going to click that, and it basically walks you through it. It says import subscribers at the top. Where should the subscribers be imported? And where where do we want them to be imported? We want to add them as a tag because they are new to our email list and we want them to be tagged. And this could be whatever tag you want it to be. Um, it could be, you could change it to main list, export, whatever the tag should be. Select that tag so it's highlighted now. And now you want to drag and drop a CSV file. And now we want to add that CSV file to ConvertKit. So we're going to click Add Subscribers, Import a CSV, and then it says right here, where should the subscribers be imported? And we want to add them to that same tag. Remember that? Or whatever tag of your choosing. And we're going to click the drop down and select the tag. And now we're going to drag and drop the CSV file. When you drag and drop it, it's successful. And now you want to map the columns to the fields. So basically, you want the name to match, you want the header name to match the field and the sample data. So I wouldn't, when you press this, the drop down, I wouldn't select email because this is a name right here. But I would select email for the second one. You see that? And then for the first one where it says Aquila, I'm going to select the first name. And now that you have the names matching up in the email, sometimes there may be other headers depend, depending on your CSV file. You can completely ignore them. What you want to do here is name the first name field and the email field. Those have to be 100% correct. And now you can click import subscribers. Now it shows that you have two subscribers. You have Aquila, you have Mark. Remember Mark, we added on its own manually. And then Aquila, we use the CSV file, right? And they're both on the same tag. And it shows here on your dashboard that you have two new subscribers and it shows an increase in your subscribers. So that's how you add emails to ConvertKit manually and using a CSV file. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. I'll be happy to answer.